Hi, I'm Keegan Gerhardt, and I'm here at the Advanced Gourmet booth at the NRA show. Now, I'm here for one simple reason. That's because I love the Paco Jet machine. Now, you probably know this has been marketed for years as sort of an a la minute ice cream sorbet gelato machine. But uh, I'm here to show you the basic operation of it, and I'm gonna make some hints towards a bunch of other things that a Paco Jet can do, so pay attention. So it's a simple little machine, very concise, very small footprint. On-off switches on the side here. Turn it on, I leave it on all day for, for my production. This is what brings your product ultimately and these little custom beakers to be pocketized, if you will, for production. Now what you need to know, this doesn't make your ice cream sorbet gelato base. What it does is it turns the ice cream, spins the ice cream, if you will, we call it, right? Um, PacoJet calls it pocketizing the product. So, it's a really simple operation, something I love about it. Power light is on. Now we bring our pocketizing blade to the machine. Now look at the look at the way this is designed. It's so simple. Blades that shave as this blade spins at 2000 RPM and goes down. And then you see that wing shape of the second blade that aerates the product as it comes up. Lock it into this gasket and bring it to the machine. Now it's magnetic, it's easy to, to insert. You hear that little click, it's locked in place. You never want to put this blade on the beaker. You always put it on the machine and then bring the product to the Paco Jet. So let's start with something simple, a little chocolate gelato. This is really just a neutral gelato base. You could make your own or buy a mix, doesn't matter. Melted chocolate bars, and voila, you got it. You put it inside, you freeze it solid. We like at least negative four degrees. Bring this to the machine, yeah? Handle about two, three o'clock, bring it up. When I bring it forward to six o'clock position, you see the ready light come on. It won't process without the ready light on, so make sure that's in place. Now once I have the machine set to go, if I'm in a hurry, run the whole beaker, I just hit start, it processes everything. If I want to do part of this beaker, why would I want to do that? Because I want to have it fresh for the entire service. Listen, vanilla ice cream, chocolate ice cream, chocolate gelato, I run the whole beaker. I might have to do three, four a night. An oddball flavor, maybe I only do a little bit a night. I can simply select the portion size I want up to 10. 10 is the whole beaker. Now one portion is about 100 grams, about three and a half ounces. It takes about 20 seconds to process one portion. About three and a half, four minutes to process the entire beaker. So some simple math will tell you, you wanna do 10 flavors, you can do 10 flavors, over 10 liters of product in well under an hour. And while it's processing for those three and a half to four minutes, you can walk away and be doing other things. So I'm gonna just go back up to five, process half my beaker. Here we go. Now, immediately an indicator light that the blade is coming down to the product. When it feels the resistance, voila. All the LEDs are lit up. It sees that the container is full. It's beginning to pocketize. As I said, it takes about 20 seconds to process one portion. And when that portion is done, you'll see one light begin to blink and flash. Now that's important. There you see it. One is done, five more portions to go. Why is that important? If I'm busy working, someone else comes to the machine, doesn't know what's going on, oh, he had it set for five, I guess. One's already done, four more are working. Well, guess what? What if we need that product right now and we don't want to make, wait 60 more seconds? Very simple. Two are done, I hit stop. Indicator indicates that the blade is coming off the product. Not a problem. Now this is the aeration process. Air is building up, listen. That's a little bit of the overrun. The default for this machine is approximately 35% overrun. You can adjust that a bit by holding this button or pulsing this button as the aeration happens when the Paco bl blade goes up. We'll talk more about that later. Now you can see, if I were just to come back now you can see, if I were just to come back, two portions processed. I didn't do the last three, doesn't matter. I hit cancel and I removed the machine just the way I put it on. From six o'clock, three o'clock, drop it down, remove the blade. 
very easy to remove. Now check it out. This is what I'm talking about. This is where we see the potential for 100% yield. In the middle, rock hard chocolate gelato product that's not been pr uh, processed in any way. Up top, chocolate gelato product, smooth, silky, creamy, like pudding. And then every time you process it, it'll be that way. It's perfect.